Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can program your Raspberry Pi Pico using Arduino IDE. I will be providing the link to this page in the description down below. The first thing to do is, we need to install a package that will install and set up all the necessary components that you need to have to connect to your computer and communicate with Pico. So click on this link, go to this page and download this file, Pico Setup Windows 0.3x64.exe. Ok now the download has started, it's gonna take some time and once you have finished downloading it, just click on the file and open it. It would be better if you could run this file as an admin. Ok now it has started the setup process, click on next and make sure you select all the components in this list. Ok click on next, make sure you have enough disk space and click on next and it will start the setup process. Believe me on this one guys, it's gonna take a lot of time. At some point, we will even feel like it's stuck. So go out, get a coffee and then come back to your seat after some time to check the status. Ok guys, now it's finished. Now let's check the next step. So the next step is to download and install Arduino IDE. Click on this link and download the latest version of Arduino IDE from their website. Now click on Windows, click on just download. Now we should start downloading the file. So wait for it to finish and open it. Click on I agree. Now make sure you select all the options here. Click on next and it should install the IDE to your computer. Ok guys, it's finished. Click on close and open Arduino IDE in your PC. Search for Arduino and here it is. Click on that and open it. Ok, just reset the window. Cool. Ok, next we need to add the URL to the board details in the Arduino IDE. For that select this URL, open up Arduino IDE, go to File, Preferences and in the bottom you should see Additional Board Manager URLs. Simply paste it here and click OK. Now go to Tools, Boards, Boards Manager. Now it's gonna take around 5 seconds to download all the indexes. So once it is done, search for Pico here and you should see Raspberry Pi Pico slash RP2040. Click on install and it's gonna take some time, go out, get a coffee and come back after some time. Ok now it's finished, click on close, now click on tools, go to board and below you should see Raspberry Pi RP2040 boards and under that you should see Raspberry Pi Pico. If you got it, then congrats guys, you have done a good job. Now it's time to upload your first code to your Raspberry Pi Pico using your Arduino IDE. For now, you can try uploading an LED blink sketch to your Pico. For that, go to Files, Examples, Basics and Blink. And here it is guys. This is the code we will be uploading to Raspberry Pi Pico. And you have to make sure you have selected the right board. And yes, it's Raspberry Pi Pico. And it's ok if ports button is grayed out. And now you can connect your Raspberry Pi to your USB cable and to your computer. But if you are connecting it for the first time, you have to make sure that the boot select button is pressed while connecting it. Now all you have to do is upload the code. Click on upload button. And it's done. It will take some time to compile and upload your code. And once the code upload is finished, you should be able to see the built in LED blink. Guys, I hope this video was useful to you. If you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button below. Thank you guys, see you in the next video.